It's May 14th. The brown mushrooms are really late this year. They're just starting. We're just starting to find a few. The weather's been really cold. And if we can just get a couple of warm days, I believe the mushrooms will come out. There's a couple more over here. And I believe we're going to get the yellows and the grays all at the same time this year. See the tops are burnt on these. I'm assuming because of the uh, cold weather has kind of stunted those. Now to, where do we start looking? We like to look on the banks, sides of banks and hillsides. And close to dead elm if we can find it. We've got a dead elm there. We've got a dead elm there. So we've got quite a few dead elms here through the woods here we've got a lot of dead elm up through there so we're gonna definitely hit that hillside and up on the top where the sun hits in the mornings there and warms things up first that's uh, usually your best spot and then lower in the valley here as the week progresses we'll start finding them down here more oh yeah we've got one right there so again they're just starting we're finding one and two at a time no big uh, groups of morels yet. We're walking down this bank. Come across a couple of young grays here. And there's only two. These are real fresh. So being that we're only finding one or two at a time. Back there I think it was uh, three or four. And I left those because the tops were burnt due to the frost that we've had the last couple of mornings. So these are just starting. So I would guess in two days, we would start finding a group like this and you could find a couple anywhere up to 100 to 200. So it's early yet, but we're gonna keep looking. The other thing I like to do, use a fruit bag, an orange bag here that has the holes in it. That way, as you put uh, your morels in there, it allows the spores to escape and you can be dropping spores throughout your location, your woods, and hopefully, uh, reproduce morels in the following years. We're going to keep looking up and down these banks. We found that last one. Of course you got a dead tree right there with the bark falling off it. That's where we found them. So we're covering this bank here. It's pretty slippery in the woods. We just got all that rain. So it gets pretty slippery going up to the peak. So we'll wait until it dries out probably tomorrow. Well, there's one right there. That looks like a yellow. It's a nice big morel. Now here's a young yellow. We call these whites because they're almost a white looking color. Here's another gray. Just one it looks like. Another nice gray here. A little nicer and we're up on the tops now starting to look here where they get a little more sun and warm up faster and here's a big uh, gray here nice size mushroom so we're gonna look around see if we can't find a few more of these uh, we're looking over this bank here we've got a dead elm right there that's where we found the two we're coming up the bank and I can see one right in here. You see it right there. Here's another nice group of gray morels. But we've got like four right here. And they're fresh. You can tell the tops aren't burnt. So they're gonna be good eating. There's the four mushrooms we just picked. You can tell by the morel, it's a continuous stem. It does not get hollow underneath, it's hollow inside. But the stem goes right up into the head of the mushroom. Again, these are grays, and they're a good size gray. Like I said, the morel mushrooms, it's early. The grays are just coming. You can see there's quite a few right here. 
and just look around all this dead elm dead bark and stuff that we've got all through here you can see there's a few more right over here another one there so we're going to pick these again we thank you for joining us in nw outdoors and looking for the morel mushrooms these are the grays the yellows will start in another two or three days so let's get picking these all right, here's what we picked. Not as many as last year as we found in that spot, but quite a few. So we got a couple of pounds of just the early gray morels. We put them in these uh, fruit bags, in orange bags, with the holes in them so that the spores can continue to fall out onto the ground as we're looking for more morels. <laughs> 